guys, today is going to be an unboxing. It's not a true unboxing because, true to form, I have already opened this. I can't actually leave anything to film a video. I really, really have to open it. It's just the curiosity in me because I had no idea what's going to be inside this box. Um, but it is another British beauty blogger. Um, I've said that like three times. I've tried to film this video and blah, 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 blah. It's quite the tongue twister, Jane. It's another collaboration between British beauty blogger and um, Latest in Beauty and this time it is Origins so we're going to be super excited about it um, and as you know I always will talk about these particular collaborations because as a beauty blogger I have got a tremendous amount of samples and small sizes of things and it kind of comes to a point when I have to be slightly more selective I can only have so many travel size things like there's only so many I can really legitimately use um, but whenever Jane is involved in anything to do with like editing a small collection of anything I need it uh, so I'm not going to pass up the opportunity to review this box for you. Uh, like I said, I opened this a few days ago when I received it. I haven't been able to stop myself from using something that was inside it already. And as soon as I filmed this video, I'm going to be opening another one. Um, I am a massive, massive fan of face masks, as you probably already know. Last month I did a few different reviews on different face masks that I've been using. I use one at least once a week, two or three times a week, more regularly. Um, I just can't get enough of them, some kind of face treat, whether it be like just a cheap peel off thing from Superdrug or a really, really expensive, um, what are they called, the biocellulose sheet masks, can't get enough of those, they're amazing, but really expensive and I want to be kind of like more sparing with those, but in this box you have got a mix of masks and mask type things, all for £20, worth £84, but if you are a bit of a mask freak like me, you will absolutely want this. I'll leave the link below to buy. Um, hopefully by the time this video goes up, it's not already sold out because I know Jane's boxes go really, really quickly. But this is a really good one. Like, I'm tempted to buy a second one. It's that good value. Um, and in with it, you also get a little card giving you £10 off a £30 purchase from Origins. And then inside, here is the box. You've got a couple of things that I would say are full size. I'm not 100% sure I haven't checked it out, but I think two full size products and then the rest are um, miniatures or kind of samples. Now the thing that I've already opened is this. I've had some real problem skin recently and when I saw this I thought I have to try this right now. It's the Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask and I haven't tried this before and this is a pod. I have never seen these. I had to check with Jane because I couldn't find them online on Origin's site. I have found another place that you can get these little pods from and I'll link that below as well. I can't see where you can buy them individually or um, kind of in one particular set, you know, like lots of these ones. It was only ones where you could get a sampler of lots of different ones to try, but I think that's a great idea. Like Origin's masks can be quite expensive and if you want to try a few, you don't really want to go out and spend like £24 per mask, do you? So these are a great idea. And I actually got two. I used it last night and this morning because why not? I'm addicted. Um, but I, <laughs> I got two full uses out of this pod. So really, really, really good value. Like I said, I'll link those below. But I got three of these little pods. Oh, 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 four. Secret one. Four of these little pods in this um, box. I've got the Out of Trouble mask, which is the next one. That's what I'm going to be using tonight because um, I've got to do something this week and I would really, really like to not have, like I've got like just breakouts all over the place. I've actually discovered it's my cleanser. I've been using um, an oil cleanser and I just didn't even think because I've never really had an adverse reaction to a cleanser before and it's definitely that that's caused the breakouts. I just had a brainwave yesterday. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use this tonight. This is the Out of Trouble 10 Minute Mask to Rescue Problem Skin. If you guys have tried this, let me know. Although by the time you tell me, I will have tried it. Um, drink Up 10 Minute Mask. This is the one that I will always repurchase and the one that I was really excited about because I wanted a smaller size to take with me on holiday next month. This is something that in my um, carry-on or just generally when I'm on holiday, I will always, always have with me. I liked it in the winter in New York because um, it was kind of cold and kind of harsh, env bleh, harsh environment. But when I went to Las Vegas, the environment is so, so dry. I don't know what I mean. It's not environment, is it? Like the, the air? I don't know, whatever. It's a very, very dry climate, is the word. Um, and when I was using this, I was using it as like an overnight mask, but it was just absorbing into my skin immediately like a normal moisturiser. Um, and I just love it. So I was going to have to decant some like I have in the past, but I have this little pod and a perfect travel size. So I'm pretty excited about that. And the last pod is the Original Skin 
I love the name, uh, retexturizing mask with rose clay. And this I'm assuming is going to be kind of, um, when it's retexturizing, generally I have kind of glycolic peel type things um, that say they're retexturizing and they smooth everything and are a bit of a, an acidic tonery type situation. I don't know, I don't know. But I'm interested to try that one as well. So yeah, love the pods. Obsessed with the pods, will be buying more pods. Um, then like I say, I've got this miniature, which I know at one point you could buy small versions of the masks. I don't know if you still can. Um, then this is Jin Zing Peel Off Mask, Refine and Refresh It. <laughs> I thought it said Refine and Refreshing, but Refreshing is not a word, is it? No, it's not. Um, refine and Refresh Peel Off Mask. Never tried this before. It's a peel off one, though, so I'm pro I like pretty interested in that. I like a peel off mask. I have to. Ooh! It's metallic. Can you see that? It's like a bronze colour. I swear it's got glitter in it. That's insane. Oh my goodness, what is that going to look like on my face? If I just opened that, I would kind of assume that was some kind of like bronzing thing, but it's a peel off mask. Okay, okay. Um, next is the, it's see the fairly large size as well, uh, By All Greens Foaming Deep Cleansing Mask. This, I think I might try this and then I'm going to try the um, Problem Skin one, whatever the out of trouble thing, because I really want to see what this is. It says, I'm just, just going to have to use it because... We're not going to know unless I do. Ooh! That wasn't what I was expecting and now I don't know what to do with it. I thought it was going to be foam. It's not foam. It says foaming deep cleansing mask. Now what am I going to do? It's liquid. Does it foam up? Does it? No. It's, it's not foaming up. I'm just going to put it on my face. It smells amazing. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to wipe it there. This is normal. Okay, anyway. So there's that. We'll see. I'll take off my makeup and do it again. Um, Maskimizer. I wanted to try this for a while as well. This is a spritz. So for the sake of being ridiculous already. It smells like rose water. This is supposed to be, you cleanse, you put this on your face, and then you put the mask on. I've probably done it in the wrong order, but whatever. It's supposed to make your masks more effective. Uh, last this is not a mask bit of an oddball inclusion but this is Vitazing and I think I've had this before it is um, like a moisturiser it's got SPF in it I believe yes SPF 15 it's a moisturiser but it's a tinted moisturiser and it's one of those like sheer release moisturisers now let's just see because I've spoken about these before I'm not convinced I think there is no such thing as like adapting to your skin tone but these are the things that tend to say that they are if you see it's like white come on focus it's white and it's got kind of like little dark gray particles in there and when you rub it onto your skin initially you're like oh it's turning into like a skin color that's fantastic now let's just see if this works the same as everything else i've ever tried like this and the more you rub it the darker it gets oh Wow, I have, I was not prepared to eat my words on that one, but that's really nice. Like, it's not getting orange at all. If you remember when I talked about the L'Occitane, L'Occitane, L'Occitane? I think it's L'Occitane, right? I talked about the L'Occitane box and they had one of these in it. Um, and I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And I tried it and sure enough, it was orange. This is not orange, guys. Wow. Okay, difference. That's not that crazy at all, is it? It's maybe just genuinely given a little bit of a tint. Okay, that's not something that I would have put on my face. I would have assumed that was going to be terrible and not used it. And now I'm really glad that I actually did try it because that's really, really nice. So there you go. Proven wrong. This is the first time for everything. Um, so that's everything. I think this is an awesome box. Like I say, very, very tempted to buy another one just to kind of have. Because masks, it's always, I'm always going to go through all of these things. I mean... This is obviously how I'm going to use it on a daily basis, but, you know, I'm going to definitely use up every single thing in this. In fact, now I might even use up this. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to talk about this in another video. I might use it in a get ready with me. Stay tuned. Uh, the maskimizer is probably the one thing that I'm not sure whether I'd use the entire thing, but that will all depend on really whether or not it does what it says it's supposed to do. Let's see what this actually says. Take masking to the max. Priming mist. <laughs> Priming mist. 
it's the end of the day guys when I'm filming this, with Marine Algae Complex. It helps hydrate, soften and optimise skin's condition so it's fully prepared to enhance your mask experience. Just a quick spritz gets skin primed, ready to reach its most flawless potential. So you're supposed to spray over clean skin and then apply the mask. So it is how I thought it was. And I will use this. Whether or not it will do anything extra, we'll see. It might be interesting to use this underneath like a clay mask because it says it hydrates. Something that maybe would do something you wouldn't want it to do. I don't know. Let's try it. Okay, taking off my face makeup. I've still got my eyebrows. Mm. <laughs> it's quite wet. Maybe that was a little bit close. Okay, I had to take off my brows and my mascara because I kind of got it in my eyes. <laughs> no, my skin is really red and like, ah. Uh. Um, right, we'll try the By All Greens Foaming Deep Cleansing Mask. Let's see what it says. Nothing. No directions at all. Okay, I'm just, just going to guess then. I'm really interested by this because it seems to be such an unusual mask. Oh, it does foam! It foams, it foams! I think it needs a bit of liquid. And the maskamizer has made my skin a little bit um, damp. And so it needs the liquid to make it foamy. Okay, okay. So is this supposed to be, is it a cleansing mask or is it like a mask cleanser? I don't know. Am I supposed to put this on and then leave it on? Or what? It feels nice, it smells really nice. So that's that, I'm impressed, I like it. Um, whether or not these things do amazing things remains to be seen. Watch this space and I'll maybe speak about these later on. I might do a full video about masks. I said I was going to, then I never got around to it. Um, just kind of showing you the best ones and my favourites. and Maybe the flops as well, the fails, um, might be just as interesting as my favourites. Um, but yeah, it feels like very fresh. I'm liking it. The mask binds is interesting. Yeah. We'll see. Um, but yes, this is available, £20. It will be linked below. Hopefully you get your hands on it and it doesn't sell out super, super quick. Um, let me know if you do. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week for another video.